Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Trello with Google Sheets. First of all, we have to create our account at Trello.com and uh, if you are familiar with Trello, you already have a couple of workspace boards going for you and or your team or your work peers or colleagues. And we are actually going to use one of uh, these uh, boards to make this integration. Now, uh, I created this one just to show you how to make the integration. So let's go with the test. We click by our left mouse button and go to the top right corner and show menu. Once we are here, we want to go and choose Power Apps. Now we are trying to find Google Sheets. As you can see, uh, there's no Google Sheets uh, yet implemented in Trello. So we are going to use Zapier.com. With Zapier.com, uh, you can actually make way more integrations between any type of apps that you want to. So let's go and create an account and we want to go to dashboard and make a zap on the top left corner. We can name we can name our zap like uh, Trello to Sheets, for example. And now let's make this integration work. The first trigger will be Trello. So we can use the search engine or we can go like this. But let's go and write T R I E but for Trello. Trigger event, uh, let's go with new member on card, it's completely random. We press continue, we have to choose an account, so let's go with this one that we created a couple of minutes ago, let's go continue and uh, set up trigger, it will be actually the board that we are using, like my MS Stone test. Continue, and now you can test your trigger, but you don't have to, so yeah. Let's go to the action number two. In action number two, though, this will be the other way of uh, other other side of this integration. So obviously it's uh, Google Sheets. As you can see, Google Sheets are already implemented in uh, Trello. So action event, there's a couple of you can choose from. So if new member on card in Trello appears, it will let's say update the spreadsheet row, continue. And the last thing is you just have to sign in with Google Sheets. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.